Footage has emerged of uh, LA City Council member Kevin DeLeon uh, in a group of protesters that are following him, uh, following a holiday event in Lincoln Heights. And he's being yelled at by the activists, goes into his office. At some point, is very close to one of the activists, Jason Reedy, organizer with the People's City Council. And then it is difficult to tell in the footage because a lot of people are moving around. All of a sudden, there is a bit of a brawl, a little bit of wrestling. And this LA City Council member is seen bearing a protester to the ground like he just interrupt, uh, interrupted a wrestling match on Monday Night Raw or something. I mean, that's that's very much what it reminded me of. He's not he's not just like stopping something from happening. He's not just pushing the guy. He's bearing him to the ground like he's trying to win the intercontinental belt. In any event, there are statements out now from uh, both sides. So we're going to give you both. To be fair, here's a statement put out by Kevin De Leon. Once we were able to push open a door and try to get out, Reedy launched a pelvic thrust followed by a headbutt to my forehead. My response in defense of myself was to push him off of me. In the ensuing struggle, Reedy struck me in the face with a closed fist, violently elbowed a female staff member and injured a volunteer in front of horrified parents and children. The escalating political rhetoric is beyond unacceptable, now turning verbal threats into physical acts of violence. It's a dangerous pattern that must end before more serious harm or loss of life occurs. Leaders must collectively step up to curb rising hostilities towards staff and elected officials. In no way is violence a form of free speech and acts like these have no place in politics or democracy. Okay, so that's the defense that Kevin DeLeon is putting out. We also have a statement by an attorney representing Jason Reedy who says, Kevin DeLeon is a disgrace. Video footage clearly shows him and his supporters initiating this assault while Mr. Reedy stands with his hands up, which I can attest to in the video, his hands are up in the air. Not only has Kevin DeLeon lost all political legitimacy, his claims that he was the one attacked here simply underscores how he's lost touch with reality. Uh, goes on to say, Kevin DeLeon and his supporters assaulted Mr. Reedy for voicing criticism of Kevin DeLeon at a public event, echoing the widespread demands for him to resign. DeLeon's supporters initiated physical contact by shoving him, and DeLeon himself grabbed Mr. Reedy. Mr. Reedy had his hands up and did not initiate physical contact with anyone. Mr. Reedy has reported the assault to LAPD. And of course, I can only, like, we're not showing the video, you can find the video. I have seen the video many times, including slow mo footage. We can only go by what is there in the footage. I do not see a pelvic thrust and I do not see a headbutt. I do not see him strike Kevin DeLeon in the face with a closed fist. That does not mean that those things did not happen. They are just not visible, <coughs> apologies, in the actual tape. Mm -hmm. What is visible is them being very close and him being followed, that is true. And what is also visible is Jason Reedy being born to the ground by an incredibly aggressive looking Kevin DeLeon. That yeah. is what is clearly visible in the tape. Francesca, what are your thoughts? Yeah, I mean the tape shows like a like a kerfuffle basically and, and a squeeze. Like they were exiting um, whatever um, you know place they were. They're on their way out, they're protesters, they're surrounding Kevin DeLeon. Um, what's important to remember is Kevin DeLeon this entire time is wearing a Santa hat. And I, I need everyone to know this because it comes off when Santa goes haywire. <laughs> but <laughs> he's wearing a Santa hat, he's trying to leave. And for one of the few times there aren't police officers flanking uh, elected representatives, flanking um, activists, because they always are here in Los Angeles. Um, mm -hmm. And so Kevin, yes, is being confronted and, and Jason Reedy is very close to him. He's getting in his face, if you will, right? He's mm -hmm. completely getting in his face, whether or not he was you know, pelvic thrusting, I'm not really sure uh, about that, but he was definitely in his face. And Kevin DeLeon lost it instead of calmly trying to leave saying, you know, like being the bigger person as the elected official, he just lunges and goes for it and and it is incredibly scary. He didn't well, he didn't throw fists. That's I think important. I didn't I didn't see fists thrown from Kevin. No, I I'm didn't either. And, and look, 
it's entirely possible that when people are very close to each other and there's a crowd, if people are jostling you, maybe his pelvis was jostled or something. I don't know. Again, it's not visible. Um, but like, and then when Kevin Leon says that he elbowed someone, okay, maybe he did. Again, it's not on the video. Or maybe once you were throwing him through a crowd, his elbow hit someone. It's hard to tell at that point. Check out the Damage Report podcast each day, wherever you get your podcasts, whether Pocket Casts or Stitcher or iTunes. You can join me as I give you the news and stories you want with a range of co-hosts and interview guests jumping in on the fun each day. Again, that's the Damage Report, wherever you get your podcasts. And if you get them at iTunes, don't forget to rate and review. Sometimes I'll read them live on the show.